morning. It's 10.20. You're on Sunrise Radio with me, Shabnam Sahi. It gives me great pleasure to say a big warm welcome to Dr. Raghav Bhatia, a Cry Research Fellow. You're a cardiology registrar at St. George's Hospital. Dr. Bhatia, welcome to Sunrise. Thank you very much for the kind invitation, Shabnam. I'm delighted to be with you today. Now, let's start with the first and most obvious question. When and how did you first become involved with the charity Cardiac Risk in the Young or Cry? Sure. Well, as a as a medical uh, trainee, after qualifying, you begin a professional and a personal journey, which for me started way back in 2011, which now sounds like a very long time ago. Mm. And it's during this journey that uh, my awareness for CRY really came about, Shabnam, in a multiple of ways. Firstly, I became aware of a quite eminent CRY cardiologist, Dr. Michael Papadakis and Professor Sanjay Sharma, who really are phenomenal in the field of medical education. While um, And I came across them when I was preparing for my professional postgraduate examinations. And they really incorporated aspects of the novel fields of inherited cardiac conditions and sports cardiology as part of this process. So after I received my uh, training number in cardiology back in 2015, on a regular basis, I would come across individuals in a secondary care, so that's in hospital, hmm. who had been identified with cardiac symptoms and even those harboring cardiac conditions, which were actually identified following attendance at a cry screening event. And I still remember cases, Shabnam, where individuals and families had been affected by a young sudden death and how cry supported surviving members of the family from a medical and also from a bereavement perspective. Now, Dr. Bhatia, you decided to specialize in inherited heart conditions affecting young people and athletes. So can you explain to us why it is so important for young people to have their hearts screened? Yes, absolutely. Well, we know, Shabnam, that 80% of individuals who unfortunately succumb to sudden cardiac death have no symptoms of a prior heart defect. And we also know that in the United Kingdom, 12 young sudden deaths happen in the UK every week. So our ethos at CRY is that through proactive screening of young individuals, through spreading awareness in communities and families, we can detect serious cardiac disease in young individuals and prevent such tragedies from happening. Hmm. Of course, Shabnam, you know, once we identify a heart condition um, through our community screening programs, we can often uh, provide individuals with preventative advice, such as lifestyle advice, uh, medications, um, and also, you know, refer them to secondary care services for more curative uh, interventions or even surgery. I would also add, Shabnam, that, you know, the identification of a hereditary condition in a young individual um, is also important for their first degree relatives. So we're talking here about siblings and parents, hmm. because often they then can use that as an impetus to get themselves evaluated. Um, and you can appreciate the importance of screening, not just for an individual, but also potential implications for family members. Can you explain to us briefly, Dr. Bhatia, what a cry screening actually involves? Absolutely. I'd be delighted to share them. Well, the first step actually um, involves uh, you registering for a cry screening event on the testmyheart.org.uk website. There are screening venues available up and down the country. And as part of this initial step, you will complete an online health questionnaire, which will include information, you know, for example, if you have any cardiac symptoms such as chest pain, breathlessness, if you have any fluttering in your chest, which we call palpitations. We'll also ask you about your family history. Um, particularly if there are any individuals less than the age of 50 who perhaps have had a cardiac issue, or unfortunately, if there's anyone who's died suddenly under the age of 50. Mm. Now, on the day of your screening event, you'll be greeted by a member of this CRI team. Um, our technicians will perform what we call an electrocardiogram. Um, your listeners might have heard of the term called ECG, mm. which looks at the electrical conduction pathways in your heart. And this is completely non-invasive and painless. You then will see um, a cry doctor such as myself who will look at your health questionnaire and your ECG and we will provide you with a screening outcome. Um, importantly, we'll also communicate the results of this um, screening uh, process to your general practitioner. And um, if there are any recommendations for an individual who perhaps requires further management, um, um, either via the GP or perhaps at the local hospital, we will ensure that this occurs. And it's also, you know, worth mentioning that sometimes we can also do a special heart scan, which is called an echocardiogram. Um, it gives us greater clarity about the structure of the heart, but we only perform this um, in certain individuals. Now, what is the age range we are looking at when it comes to screening individuals? The lower age limit, Shabnam, for screening is 14 years of age. Um, as at this juncture, most individuals are well into puberty. Hmm. Now, there are particular heart conditions which do not clinically manifest until the pubertal spurt. At the other end of the spectrum, Shabnam, the upper age limit of our screening program is 35. And hmm. the reason for this 
is because we know that, you know, through research, that the causes of sudden death in individuals below the age of 35 essentially are attributed to what we term, you know, hereditary conditions, so conditions that can be passed down family members. And these can be detected on an ECG. But after the age of 35, the majority of conditions which um, affect young individuals tend to be with issues of, of the heart arteries, so flaring up of the heart arteries. Um, and it's important that, you know, if you have a reassuring health questionnaire and, and an ECG and you're over the age of 35, we cannot necessarily exclude um, a potential heart problem. So we don't want to falsely reassure individuals. So getting this balance right, Shabnam, in summary, is very important uh, for our nationwide screening program. And we essentially screen individuals between the ages of 14 to 35. Do you think awareness could be better amongst our British Asian community? Well, that's a great question, Shabnam. Um, you know, we, we live in a multicultural society um, where it's very important for key healthcare messages to be disseminated to all individuals, irrespective of their ethnicities. Um, you know, however, as the pandemic has demonstrated, there are disparities um, amongst ethnic minorities in England, uh, which is due to a variety of factors, even between ethnic groups uh, and even across different conditions. Perhaps, you know, that's um, something to discuss um, if we had a bit more time. Hmm. But I think, you know, if I was to answer this question really as a British Asian myself, who's involved in cardiac screening and sees the benefits from it on a daily basis, I would certainly like to put out the messages that, you know, every young person between the ages of 14 to 35 in the UK should have the choice to be screened for a heart condition. Um, as I mentioned, 80% of individuals who unfortunately succumb to sudden cardiac death have no symptoms of a heart defect. And we know that there are 12 young deaths every week. Naturally, Sunrise Radio is honoured to support CRY again during 2022. Do you have a message you'd like to share with our listeners, Dr. Bhatia? Well, absolutely. I mean, I guess my overwhelming message is, um, you know, for young individuals to you know, pay attention um, to, you know, if they've ever had any heart symptoms, particularly if they've had any chest pains, breathlessness or palpitation. I think young individuals often might um, not pay much attention to these symptoms and they might carry on with life. Um, you know, it's important, particularly if you're within the age group of 14 to 35, to please, you know, um, get yourself checked. And, and we'd be happy to do that at a cry screening. And I guess one of my other key messages is that, and I think it, it ties in with your audience, I guess, Shabnam at Sunrise Radio, which really, you know, is addressed at the younger generation, but also, you know, second, third generation um, British Asians who, who are listening now. You know, if there are members in your family where the, perhaps there has been a heart condition that's been picked up or, you know, if something doesn't quite fit or if you have further questions do get in touch with us you know we'd be happy to guide you through the process behind cardiac screening um, and also trying to filter through if there, any, if there might be anything that needs to be to be done um, from a heart perspective. Dr. Raghav Bhatia thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome Shalom and thank you very much for inviting me today. Sunrise Radio.